Well, here we are with the first review of 2021. Um, as you probably already guessed, still less videos at the moment. Well, we're still not doing much, especially this time of year. It's absolutely bit bitterly cold out. Um, we're still in lockdown, annoyingly, so there's not, there's not really, you know, well, a lot of can really... <laughs> There's not really much we can do, is there? Uh, we can't really go anywhere. But um, I think I think most steam railways, um, well, are, are currently on hold. Well, not running. But here we are with a, with finally a new local review, a brand new model. This one from Backman. Well, well, and here's the box. I've already got her out running on the rolling road. Um, and as you can see, GWR 94XX again. Of course, the usual Backman packaging. 94XX Class Pannier Tank, number 9487, BR Black Early Emblem. And if we just have a quick look inside there. I, I, I know the locals already out. I get that said, I've been running it on the rolling road. Uh, sorry, two seconds. Uh, just the usual, usual information there, of course, isn't it? How they always been like that, is it? It feels and looks different. Like a a new picture layout for the owner's manual, like a well, a DCC chipping, um, which is a DCC ready model. I got her from, as it says on there, Roxley Models. It's a um, apparently uh, from what I read on the site, a Surrey's leading model shop. Uh, and you do get some etched number plates there, and uh, ever so tiny. Uh, uh, they're like oval plate things, which say what year she was built in that. <laughs> they look pretty fiddly to get on. I don't, I don't know how you'll manage that with your fingers. Uh, a couple of, uh, a, a couple of spare little, a couple of spare little parts in there as well, as you can see. Right, let's get the loco. Here she is. This is a beautiful tank engine. Now, if you're thinking of getting one of these, a word of warning. You have to be so careful when you when you're holding her. Hold her here. Don't place your fingers in front. Uh, well, um, either on either on the logo or in front of it. Because look, can you just see those pipes running along there on on both sides? Those like um, pipes that you, again they run along about halfway along the side panel boiler parts there. You yeah, they stop literally perfectly above uh, above the logo. As, as seriously, they feel so. Honestly, I didn't touch them. They feel so well, well, um, um, flimsy and well, really, really delicate. In fact, that one on 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 this side keeps popping out a touch from from the part where it goes in there. Well, it's not it's not coming out completely. I'll keep an eye on it and I don't know maybe a tiny bit of glue. But uh, well, 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 part of me doesn't really want to try the well, doesn't really want to try gluing that because I don't want to get because if 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 glue gets on that boiler, it'll leave residue. But it should be all right. I'll just keep hold of it. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Keep 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 an eye on it. Sorry. Um. Well, well I, I was going to say keep hold of her like this when you when you're moving her around and that. She's got so many delicate parts on, but the detail is just absolutely stunning. I, again, those pipes are fine on on, uh, on that side there, but again, they're really delicate. Do not press your fingers against those. I guess after. Hmm. Also. Um, as you can see, the layout isn't up. It was meant to be up by now, but unfortunately, it's going to have to be pushed back. It's going to we're going to have to I'm going to put it on hold because you know, uh, quite bad timing on get on getting getting a new getting a new loco. Works a bit of work's about to start on the house, a bit of repair work, and that, and that includes my room. My whole room's going to get decorated. Um, not just yet. They're starting on on well, on two rooms, my room and another one, uh, um, literally just next door and. They're starting on that from a Monday, and they might, they might they still might need to come well to come into my room a couple of times to to, to check something. And plus, with all the dust, what's going to be flying around? You know, the whole thing's been taken out basically. I don't want to risk having the layout up and um, again the truck getting stood on. Um, as, oh, I know, I wish I had a proper layout on that, but I don't want to risk the truck getting stood on, dust flying all over them. Um, but I will film her running on the rolling road. I mean, you know what I do? I do rolling road videos, so I'll film. 9487 on the on the rolling road in this review see see her number there so i know bad timing on getting a new loco oh, oh her cab detail is just stunning um and this one has got a very clever feature inside that cab i've never had a loco uh, with it before i'll show you it on the rolling road um in a minute we'll just have a look at her 
And one thing that I like about this one is to see the yeah, the the red and well the red gold number plates, well with the gold numbers, gold um, gold frame around it, and the red background. I really like that. I was thinking about because um, because you can get another black one, just like the um, well well the uh, well the black and uh, well the the number plate with the um, black background, which still looks nice. Don't get me wrong, but I just love how that red one looks. It do, it does look much better. And of course, you you can get one in GWR green with the GWR letters on. I, I was thinking of that at first, but I do really like um, her in the in the BR black. Let's see her front there. She's a beautiful model. Absolutely beautiful. So, um, again, she only came with a few extra parts to put on. Um, underneath all the rods and that were already on, thank God. Again, we all know I still, to this day, I hate having to put those on. It's just, uh, again, so annoying how they're... On some locos, they're already on. On some, they're not. So, uh... Again, she may be only fairly small. Well, she, well, for tank engine size, she's quite big. But still, you, I can just got to be so careful when holding her. She's so delicate in areas. Again, especially those, those like yeah, you, you, you can clearly, you can see them quite clearly. There, just wait for it to come into into, into focus. There, there we go. So delicate. Just again, do not touch those at all. A nice reverser. Leave her in there. And again, her number nine four eight seven. She's absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm mega impressed with this one. Oh, and I will now show you that very clever feature inside her cab. Yeah, she has a glowing, well, a, well, yeah, a glowing firebox. Um, yeah, sorry if the camera's juddered there, it's, uh, again, the side bit opens. I, I, this camera still works fine, I have actually got a new one, but I'm still kind of getting grip, getting grips with how to use it and costing me to find a charger for it at the moment. But again, inside the cab you can see, yeah, yeah just try and get the, try and get the light shine, shine on that, wait for it to come into focus. I, I get that, well, thankfully the new camera seems to focus just as well, at close, at close up shots. But you can just see, um, you can see all the, like the brass um, pipes and, and a few gauges in there. But okay, that is just so clever. A little light in the um, in the in her firebox, uh, and again, uh, um, even does that on just standard analog or well, well standard DC. She got spring buffers, but but both her NEM couplings were already on. Uh, I'm sorry if, if, if you can hear that noise coming downstairs. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what's going on to be honest. But and you can just see like it was like a red, um, just see a tiny bit of red through through the gap there, right there. You see it? Yeah, like a nice brass top on um, on the top of her um, chimney right there. Again, so sprung buffers. And oh yeah, back to the the glowing firebox. It's brilliant that they've done that, even just on standard DC models. Yeah, I'm still I'm still standard DC at the moment. Hopefully, I might be able to move up to DCC or DCC sound. You, you can get these with sound. And and speaking of that, I read they already come with a um, um, a built-in speaker already built in. Obviously, obviously does you know, obviously does not make a noise on standard DC. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, sorry, I've had a, a, sl a slight cold. Um, don't worry, it's not COVID. <laughs> well, hopefully not. Um, uh, well, it's, it's that time of year. I usually get the, <laughs> I usually get, uh, I usually get the odd cold and odd croaky voice, the odd cough. Um, obviously, the speakers, a built-in speaker, is not going to do anything. Uh, there's no sound, obviously, on on normal DC. But it must be something. Well, it must make fitting DC, uh, DCC sound much easier. 
but I'm so glad they um, they've made the uh, again, sorry my arms blocking the light there that's usually the case isn't it I'm so glad they've made it that the firebox still glows on even on just normal DC. That is a fantastic feature. I'm, me I'm dead impressed with this. Backman has have done a great job. This is a model which I've been um, which I've been waiting for for a while. It, it reminds me of when I um, reviewed uh, when, when Hornby brought out their their Great Western uh, well, uh, 42, 52. Of course, yeah, I've got the 52 and 72 e um, large XX tank engines. Nearly 10 years ago now. Um, that was a model I've been waiting for for a while too. And uh, uh, and again, the etched um, again. I, I keep nearly saying nameplates because normally um, you get etched nameplates for like you know for like on um, um, like T Tornado City of True or the Sir Kenneth Grange HST. Um, but again, with this one, you get the etched numbers, the etched two number plates. And again, um, just one. Can you could just see the oval plate? Um, yeah, right there. Uh, sorry, I kind of lost it for a second there myself. It's quite hidden, isn't it? The other plate there. It is just one. There's just one there. There's, um, there's, uh, oops. Again, just watching out for those bits there. There's not one on the other side. A nice, uh, like, water fillers on her, on her top there. Backman have done a fantastic job with this. They really have. Uh, absolutely gorgeous tank engine. She's quite heavy as well. She's um, she's got a fair bit of weight to her. She should be a good puller. Uh, again, I'm pretty gutted that I can't get, get the light up just yet. Uh, it might be, I don't know, maybe maybe a, an, another month or two. You'll 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 just have to bear with me. But as soon as I get the light up again, she'll, she'll be the first local one again. Um, that unfortunately means that what well, I was having to start filming um, a a special event video, another like uh, festival type um, type type video. Because uh, I haven't done one for a while, have I? I don't think. No. Um, oh, when, when did I last do one? Was it uh, was it a couple of years ago? But um, it, it was meant to start filming now and be uploaded. Hopefully, maybe maybe um, toward mid spring. But again, um, well, you yeah, will like with more like with uh, um, other layout videos, including uh, this one running and hauling trains. It's, get, it's had to be delayed, pushed back, sadly. So yeah, I know that is really annoying. But I'm I'm gonna film on on the rolling road in a second. There's two of these preserved. Um, these were off, these were used a lot as banking engines. For example, banking long heavy goods trains up up that Licky Incline in in the West Midlands. Um, on one of my hot steam DVDs, um, and they show, uh, yeah, a film film back in the 60s. They show these hard at work beam bankers. Sometimes one, sometimes two, sometimes three. Um, I won't put four of them. Honestly, four of these banking a heavy goods train hauled by a 9F right up the incline. Just imagine what it, you know what it, it would have been like to see that. All these locos at work used as bankers. I mean, I'd say to be honest, the estimated time of time of upload or release of the new um, Gala video, which I was going to start around this time. Estimate now, maybe, maybe, uh, um, I don't know, maybe early to mid June, hopefully in in the early summer. But I guess filming it later on, and the, the, you know, we can just slight notice the days getting longer, getting longer now. It's not getting dark quite as early, and uh, well, that means much better light in this room, and hopefully it might be even better once the room the room's been decorated. It needs it really. It's a, it's not in very good condition. It's part of it. Uh, I, I think this room was last decorated between 25 to 30 years ago. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, well, well, I was going to say the walls don't, don't look too bad, but, but when you look closely, a lot of it is starting to show its age and um, needs a few repairs as well. Anyway, let's get 9487 on the rolling road. Here she is on the rolling road, just bring her more into the light. So I'll just say quickly, um, I've basically been running her in on the rolling road. I got her the other day, um, just been running her in over the past couple of days. Um, so at least that means by the time I can get the 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 layout up, um, out again, she'll pretty much be fully run in. So uh, um, also a similar design to um, a loco. I think I think it's the only one preserved. I, again, there's two of these preserved. Um, not sure what they are at the moment. Which lines they're on? Uh, is is one on on the Gloucestershire Warwickshire? Is hmm, I don't know. Um, uh, put it down in the comments if you know. Um, a loco which I hope they bring out. Um, either Hornby or Backman bring a model out of one day. Um, 
1501. Um, so, uh, well, so what type of uh, panny tank is so, what, uh, Yeah, well, because she's got the panny style boilers, haven't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much the, the same type of boiler as the as the 94XX or 9400. Um, well, same shape, pannier style boilers, um, uh, side parts with a well um, extended, well outside front boiler. Because these are these, these are longer than, uh, than the normal panniers, aren't they? Well, I'm sure I'm sure they are by the front. Um, but again, these and the and the uh, PT one five zero one, which I filmed on the Seven Valley Railway just a couple of months ago, very similar. Although uh, out of the main difference is the cylinders. One five zero one five zero one has the quite large outside cylinders. These, of course, uh, like the normal panniers, um, have internal cylinders. Uh, um, but again, beautiful model back. Um, well done, Backman. You've done a fantastic job with these. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. Yeah, obviously not not the smoothest with the uh, with, with the standard train controllers. Again, I've said I've only kept this one just just for rolling road use. But the quicker you get her, the smoother she gets. And the, again, um, yeah, we just see the firebox in there. But even that um, looks pretty good. Like, you just see the fire. Of course, I filmed the the um, other clips, uh, well, which I, showed, which I showed earlier, where where you can see her firebox glowing much better. As well, not well, not well, not in the dark, but a bit darker, so so you can see easily. Sorry if, if some of the shots were a bit were a bit out of focus. Again, I can struggle to focus more more uh, more when it's darker, but you, we still could clearly see the firebox glowing in there. Again, even when it's lighter, just seeing. The, the little light in there looks again looks realistic. Again, it was um it was flickering a bit on on lower speeds, but I'd say even so flicker um well um seeing the light part there coming from the actual light itself flickering there um well uh, well I think well I personally think that looks um quite quite realistic as well. There's like the you know the fire going well well while well, fire flickering or 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 in a way just like getting going. <laughs> but yeah, obviously looks the best when it's uh, nice and when it's nice and smooth like that. Again, and um, it should be um, should be a lot smoother with the HM2000. Again, it's it's the pointless wiring all that up just for having the rolling road out for a short period of time. I, again, that's why I kept the old standard one of the old standard controllers there. Again, it, it seems so long ago since I was getting well, well, the train sets with these in um, long time, like coming up 20 years ago. She's running really well. Yeah, well, I know she's not actually on the, on the layout yet. But she will be, and hopefully soon. Well, within the next month or two, hopefully. We just don't know how long the work's going to take on the house. I can the play box again. I, I just love that. I never had a loco, well, ne never had a standard. DC loco do that before? Well, of course I've got. Well, I've got diesel locos. Um, I've got diesel locos with uh, well a fair few with working lights, obviously. But I've never had a steam loco with that before. Again, sorry, the. Uh... Well, if, if some of the shots are, well, if she, if she goes quite dark, well, quite, quite quickly, it's often, well, I'd say getting the best lighting can be worse with, um, black coloured, uh, uh, black coloured with locos. Um, I mean, on here, she can blend, she can easily blend in with the, with the, uh, PS3 in the, in the distance there, yeah, I still, I still, I still have a PS3, I know PS5's out, but <laughs> I'm still keeping hold of that for now. Oh, especially with the TV there. When I was trying to get, trying to get the thumbnail shot of her, I had to make sure the TV was not in the, but, well, 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 was not directly behind her at all because she just totally blended into it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this review of Buckman's new 9400 class. You know, fantastic tank engine, brilliant model. Let's all look forward to hopefully, well, hopefully within the next um, couple of months, or, well, I'm hoping no longer than two months or three months especially, um, we will see her in action on the layout of course. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to, gonna have to have it all fully away for when the work starts on the house and I mean I don't even want to leave it on the 
Well, I'll have it on the rolling road um, the rest of the day until tomorrow. I mean, I'd, I don't even want to risk it. Just uh, well, just, well, you know, just stood here on the on the rolling road, vulnerable to dust falling on us. So get her all packed away and safe, and just get you know, once the work's all done, it, it'll be over and done with. And goes well backwards too. So again, once once the housework's all done, it'll be over and done with. We're back to um, back to normal again. Apologies for the for for you know for the lack of videos. It's, again, there's just not a lot I can do at the moment. But at least I've been able to get the review of her up, and by the time we get her on the way out in a couple of months' time. Should be all fully run in. I mean, um, uh, again, you'll just, you'll just have to bear with me. See how we go. Hopefully, well, I might be able to get back out on the rolling road at times. But again, not when all full work's going on in the house and dust is going everywhere. Need them all in the boxes safe. So again, well, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the review, and I definitely recommend one of these. Um, I know I haven't tried a haul these yet, but I'm sure she'll I'm sure she'll be pretty good. Again, just watch her, her very delicate detail.